Hello, my name is Andrew Riolo. I am a pilot and an aviation attorney. My law firm deals with pilots, airports, and airplanes. Most recently, we have become involved with UAVs. A UAV is an unmanned aircraft vehicle. This is the first in a series of, of videos which will deal with UAVs. This video is about the do's and the don'ts of flying an unmanned aircraft vehicle. We're going to define a UAV. We have discussed what a UAV is. Secondly, there is a drone. A drone is for military purposes. There is another term which the FAA is using, and it is SUAS a small unmanned aircraft system. The operative word throughout this is aircraft because aircraft gives the FAA the ability to regulate this and the federal government to have preemption in everything that occurs with a UAV, an SUAS, or with a drone. As I was taught in the Air Force then, let us start with the basics. Let's define uh, S-U-A-S, a small unmanned aircraft system. The basics of that system are flown strictly for hobby or recreational use, sustained flight within a line of sight, follows safety guidelines, both federal and state and local. The safety guidelines are five miles away from a control tower and below 400 feet AGL. It has to weigh 55 pounds or less. The rules that are in place now are from a 1981 advisory circular and from the 2012 FAA Modernization and Reform Act. Everyone agrees that the flying a UAV or an SUAS for profit is a revenue stream greater than the flow of the Mississippi River. Billions of dollars are to be made in the profit of flying an SUAS. But the only way today that you can fly your UAS is if you get one of the following three from the FAA. First is a COA, a Certificate or Waiver of Authorization. Second is an Airworthiness Certificate. Third is an Issuance of an Exemption. A COA is restricted to government entities police, fire, and border patrol. They must show that they are able to conduct safe operation in national airspace. Secondly is an airworthiness certificate. This is an expensive process. This is a lengthy process costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. It is normally restricted for the process of the production of commercial aircraft typically undertaken by aircraft manufacturers. Third, an issuance of exemption. An issue of exemption is where you want to be if you want to fly your UAS for a profit. An issue of exemption has been granted to 28 entities to date. These 28 entities have proved to the FAA that they can operate safely in the national airspace system. A safe operation in the NAS is required by the FAA. It is no coincidence of the 28 exemptions that have been issued, they are all led by commercial pilots because most certainly commercial pilots know the restrictions and the capabilities that can occur in the national airspace system. Of these 28 exemptions, they deal mostly with agriculture and filmmaking. Now here comes the caution. If you are flying your UAV or your UAS for a profit, Stop. The FAA says that you must have one of the three things that we previously discussed. If you do not have an issuance of exemption, you are operating illegally. You are not licensed to operate commercially to make a profit on that. If you film for a real estate company, if you do aerial surveillance of any type, and you do not have an issuance of exemption, the FAA then can find you and the entity that you work for liable. If the video that you have is out in the public domain and the FAA is able to view that, they will then contact the entity that put it on the public domain 
and therefore they will request who the person was that was filming it with their UAV. This person will then receive a letter from the FAA. Here is an example of that letter. It is a form letter and many of them have been sent out. The law firm hears from many UAS operators that it is okay to operate for hire and profit and cite the recent case of the Administrator versus Perker. Administrator versus Perker, NTSB docket, CP217, July 18, 2013. Administrative Law Judge Patrick Garrity ruled in favor of the UAV for hire operator Preker writing that there is no enforceable FAA rule or federal regulation applicable to UAS. However, the judge has been overruled by the NTSB on appeal. The NTSB found Mr. Preaker to have violated FAR 91 and fined him $10,000. This is a warning. Do not fly your UAV, your UAS, for profit unless you have an issuance of exemption. Along with this, privacy rules have not been addressed yet. That is going to be forthcoming. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please contact our law firm. Go to our website, riololaw.com. This is the first in a series of videos about UAVs. Thank you for viewing this video and we look forward to talking to you again in the following videos.